Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Just wanted to do a quick video on how you can solve your date, uh, an issue with your date table where you might not have financial year months and you might not have all the correct sorting on that and also financial year quarters. So there's a few ways you could probably do it, but this is just one way that you can quickly implement this into your date tables uh, if you require it. Now, what is the issue? The main issue we're trying to solve here right, is that if I go and bring my month name in here, you see that it's sorted by calendar. Well, I need to sort this by financial year. I want to actually make July my first month and then go July, August, September, and so on and so forth until you actually get down to June, which is going to be your last month in the financial year. So what do we need to do? Well, we don't need to create a new month table per se. We can just create a different month sorting column. So I'm going to show you how you can do that relatively uh, quickly and then from here we're going to branch out into uh, from some with some more uh, calculated column logic how you can actually implement the quarters off the back of that so I'm just going to create a new column and I'm going to create in here I'm going to create my first measure which I'm going to call uh, uh, fiscal we'll call it fiscal uh, months numbers and all we're going to do is go do a little bit of if logic, so not too hard. I've already got a month of year in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, if the month of year is greater than, say, six, then what I want to do is I want to go month of year, and I'm going to do minus six. And if not, I'm going to go month of year plus six. So if you think about that, think about what January, January will become the seventh month, right? And then I can just go OK. And so now I have this, if you look down here on this highlighted column, you've got a month number now that we can now sort the month by. So if I come over to my month here, I'll just select that, my month name. I'm going to sort by column, fiscal month number. Easy as that. Jump over here and now you'll see that my month name is July to, through to June, which is exactly what we want. And then you could use this in a uh, visualization, you use it in a slicer, there's a whole range of different ways you could utilize it. Okay, so how do we get to financial year quarters here okay so we need to implement another formula like so so i'm going to create another column and i'm going to call this fiscal quarter number and i'm going to show you how how we can get there in an iterative process so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go well fiscal i'm going to open some brackets and go fiscal month number i'm going to add two here the number two then i'm going to divide this by three Okay, so I'll push it into and we'll have a look at what it actually produces. So you see here that it actually produces. So we look at just look at what is before the decimal decimal point. So we've got one, and then the second month is also one, the third month is also one. Well, what we can wrap around here is I can go um, INT for integer. You'll see here it rounds a number down to the nearest integer, which is exactly what we want. Okay, and then I'm just going to close off this brackets inside of here. And check this out you'll see that we now have so let's look at fiscal month number one to three you'll see here that we now have a fiscal quarter number which is also one for all those three months and then it jumps to two and so on and so forth so that's how we create the quarter and then we probably want to create one more column and we'll call this fiscal quarter and we will call this one or we will go this one all we've got to do is go q and the fiscal qu quarter number and push enter and then now we have this brand new column with Q1, Q2, Q3. We could use this in a range of different ways, right? We could actually um, you know, use it as slicer, use it, use it in our visualization, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's all I want to cover today. Very short and sweet, but a really effective way to just get these uh, key things in here. You know, I've, I've seen this uh, on the Enterprise DNA forum. It's already been asked um, you know, within a couple of months, about three or four times. So it is a very uh, big requirement out there. Uh, so hopefully you can start implementing this some um, very quickly uh, if you require, require it. Okay, so certainly uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. A lot of content coming out on Power BI. I look forward to sharing that with you in due course. All the best. Talk to you soon.